Yes. Without further ado, we can just go ahead and get started with our zero viewers right now, which is perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just retweet that for you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Exciting. So are you gonna just yeah, let's do you just do it as an audio when I... Yeah, pretty much. And then I actually I have a couple of different props for me here today too. Um, if this video quality doesn't start crapping out or something, um, we can nice. see some kind of cool stuff. Um, so. Boom. Hello, and welcome to Famicast 34. I'm your host here today, Danny Bivens, and I uh, have a bit of a small crowd with me, uh, only one other person, uh, Mr. James Charlton. Hey, hey, good to be back. You took yeah. my job, Danny. <laughs> you took yeah, my that job. That is true. I did. I did pretty much take your job. Well, even though I, I give you my job. Yeah. Well, yeah. even though that you know, for like <laughs> over thirty-one episodes, I, I think I've been editing the show anyway. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, there you go. Yeah. So, hey, one viewer, and it might just be you watching this. James, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It's it's okay. Um, so yeah, we we have kind of a bit of a short show here today. We didn't really know how the this was all going to work out, so we don't have a ton of stuff planned. But um, you know, you could rest assured that we're going to talk about some uh, game stuff, uh, stuff about Japan. I'll try to quit saying in Japan so much because. <laughs> <you know, yeah. laughs> Did somebody call you out on that? No, no, no. I called myself out. I was editing the episode last month, and I I was drinking last month too. Heavily during the episode. Hey, I'm drinking like juice today, um, but yeah, I noticed I was like blah 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 in Japan, in Japan, in Japan, in Japan. And it's like, well, yeah, most of the stuff we're talking about is gonna be in Japan anyway. So I'll just like not say that. What's well, one of those? It's a given. It's a given, right? You don't need to. You don't need to say it. You know, we're we're Japan podcast based in Japan yeah. by guys who live in Japan. So you don't need to say in Japan. Yeah, I know. It'd be like it'd be like um, RFN saying in America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. They might say that sometimes. I don't know. So yeah, I'll 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 keep a keep an eye for watch on that. Okay. Well, hey, our viewer count has uh, jumped up a little bit. Great. Um, Are people watching this? I don't know. Maybe somebody just clicked on it by accident. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> somebody already left. Okay. Somebody, oh. <laughs> somebody looking for household appliances. Oh, yeah. what's two douchebags talking about Japan? Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> so um, you know, we're gonna go ahead and just get started off with normal stuff with new business. Um, James, I thought you can actually go ahead and lead us off here, man. Um, it's been a while, so hey, why not? You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> This is what Japanese people do when they say you're talking to me. They go, okay, me? Okay. They go, me? Thought, yes. They point up their nose. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's a little visual gag for the video viewers there. Yeah, and if you're listening to the audio version of this, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, new business. Um, that means I've got to talk about what I've been playing, mm -hmm. right? I'm a bit rusty. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, obviously, I'm quite busy. That's why I don't do the Famicast very often. But um, I got a couple of uh, retro games to talk about. Um, one was free and one was very cheap. Mm -hmm. um, the free one, which I think everybody got, is called... Uh, let me just get this straight here. Yeah, I think it's called Mario... Deluxe, is that right? Yeah, the uh, Mario uh, Deluxe uh, Game Boy. Mario Brothers Deluxe uh, came out in the year 2000 on the Game Boy Color. Mm -hmm. right? um, so yeah, I got that one free, and why did I get that one free? Because I bought games? Uh, basically, if you oh, sign up for the, yeah, the Nintendo Network ID. You oh, know. that's right, yes. Thank you, thank you, yes. Um, so yeah, I signed up for Miiverse, which, <laughs> which I use for all of I don't know. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first experience of Miiverse, because I don't have a Wii U yet. And um, yeah, that was kind of an interesting experience. I think it's a great idea, but you, you know, when you're used to Twitter opening in, what, two seconds on your phone? Less than two seconds? Right. Um, you can't have a, you know, a Twitter-like app. That takes 30, 40 seconds, a minute to load up. That is just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's like, 
it's like using Netscape Nav Navigator in the 1995, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, um, IGN 64 downloading a Banjo-Kazooie video it took like, you know, <laughs> two hours and it, and it was about this big. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's what it feels like using the Miiverse, so yeah, I didn't use it. I just, mm -hmm. I just did my obligatory, look at me and I'm Miiverse, and I, mm. and I never used it again. But, um, yeah, yeah no, I agree. I think it's a pretty cool feature. I just kind of wish it, yeah, it was a little bit faster. I, it seems like it's gotten a little bit better since the launch of the console, but um, yeah, it's still kind of disappointing overall. Yeah. So um, yeah, I, so I played the Mario Brothers Deluxe. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Mario Super Mario Brothers One, the NES mm -hmm. Famicom game, because um, I didn't really grow up with it. Um, mm -hmm. I started I started with a Game Boy, and then it got an SNES. So you know, Mario World. Mario Land, those are my games, those are my go-to retro games, so yeah, playing that, I mean, it's a great version, I like how you can you can save it after every world, I think it is, so if you die on world 1, 3, you, you don't, uh, sorry, 2, 3, you only go back to 2, 1, mm -hmm. which is good, um, but I don't know, it just, the physics, they haven't changed the fundamental part of the game, which I don't like, which is the physics, and I just don't. It's just the jumping is weird. <laughs> it's just something I'm not I'm not used to. Um, you know, just Super Mario World is just such perfection in its mm -hmm. jumping, and uh, I just can't I just can't really get into it. You know, I've tried yeah. so many times. I mean, it's one of the few Mario games I haven't completed, but it's yeah. just it's just like yeah, it's just it's just not my thing. It's like I think it's past. It's not it's not the timeless classic that everyone seems to think it is. I think it's yeah. it is if you grew up with it. But if you didn't, then it's kind of like, yeah, well, we've kind of moved on since then. Well, the weird thing about that Game Boy Color version too, I mean, it, the, the the way they kind of scale it for that screen, oh, yeah, it's not it's like, so you know, easy. that's that's really kind of jarring. It's, I mean, if you, I don't know if you played it on the um, 3DS or anything, or obviously like a TV, <laughs> you know, or something like that. <laughs> but I mean, it's you know, it's a completely, it's an ambassador game, right? The original, yeah, is an ambassador, yeah, but the yeah. ambassador version. So, but it's just it's it seems a lot more. Approachable, you don't seem as confined and stuff like that. So I, you know, yeah. it's just yeah, more enjoyable in that sense. <laughs> now I think oh, it's kind of ironic. I've got two versions of the same game for free, <laughs> which <laughs> I haven't barely played either of them. So yeah, well, there you go. <clears throat> so, but that kind of got me into um, that. I really wanted to play the you know my favorite Mario games. So the Mario Sale, which I think it ended like. Last week, a couple of weeks ago, right. um, on the eShop, there was like a bunch of Mario games on the sale. Uh, there was like a thousand yen off the Sticker Star game and all that yeah, kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, Paper Mario Sticker Star. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't like a far-reaching thing. Like thirty percent off all Mario games. It was just. Um, it was like you know a certain amount of yen off this game. So it's like five games in total, right? Right, right. And yeah, yeah. I think I did list, you know, rattled those off in the last episode of the show and stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, there were some like decent games. Like Super Mario Kart and Wii U was one of them that was on sale and Super Mario World and a couple other things too. It spanned across like the diff you know, different platforms. Sometimes mm -hmm. they had it like, you know, if there's one game on 3DS, the, the same game's on sale on the Wii U too if it's available on the virtual console. So yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I guess... <laughs> yeah, it, so, yeah. The um the only game that interested me, I mean, it's like Mario Golf. It's like I don't know, is that the bad one or the really oh, bad one? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's like the it's kind of bizarre because the Japanese names like yeah, Mario ten, Mario oh, Golf. Mario Open Golf, right. But then yeah. like the I guess the European and um, American ones is like NES Tournament Golf or something. Uh, okay. Is that that is that's not the ambassador game, is it? Uh, it probably is. <laughs> so yeah, the, the the problem with that sale, a lot of that stuff is already all the stuff's like a lot of more ambassador games. Right, right, right. Yeah. Why would you buy an ambassador game? Yeah. But anyways, let's try not to jump <laughs> on the negativity train too much, I guess. <laughs> but um, I might have actually already deleted it. Oh no, no, here we go. Mario Open Golf. Yeah, it's the same one. Okay. That's that's the that was the ambassador version. Okay. So anyway, um, I got Mario Land Two. Six mm -hmm. golden coins, which is one of my favorites growing up. Um, like I said, I was a Game Boy guy growing up, and uh, I love Mario Land, and Mario Land 2 was just, like, mind-expandingly amazing when it came out, like, how much better it was than the first one. Mm -hmm. I mean, <clears throat> I see it as, a like, a mini Mario world in a way, like, 
you know, they've got the world map and they've got the nice big sprites and stuff and just like so much detail and the music is so good. Like just like any track from that game just instantly just gives me gives me chills. It's just like I love that game's music so much. It's so awesome. Yeah. And uh, no, yes, I, I, I totally agree because I played the game for the first time just last year, and I think I had bought it like I don't know a year before that because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> you played the first half an hour. <laughs> uh, no, I, I beat it. I beat it, and um, no, I really enjoyed it. It was really cool, like you know, like I, you know, Mario Worldy type of vibe, but you know, yeah, and, yeah, it's gorgeous too. I mean, for a Game Boy game, it's like Mario World if it was done on the Game Boy, which is what it is. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> it's not as the biggest scope as Mario World. So, um, yeah, so I got it for 280 yen, mm -hmm. down from 400. You know, I just couldn't say no to that. I mean, I don't buy many virtual console games slash any because, you know, <laughs> I mean, I do, I do kind of have a fundamental issue with the fact that they make you pay twice for everything. Um, you know, like, Wii is separate from the 3DS. Wii U is separate from the 3DS. It's like, you know... I know they've got the wallets together now, but you know, there's no cross-buy promotion. You know, it's not even like get 50% off if you buy it again. It's just like, yep, buy it, buy it 100% price twice. It's like, no, fuck you, Nintendo. Uh, you know, I don't know. For me, I'm just, especially whenever they first announced Virtual Console back on the Wii, I was just really thrilled that I can have, you know, theoretically all mm -hmm. of these games that I absolutely love, you know, mm -hmm. all on one console. That was just like amazing. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, as we know, it's it's a bit more limited than that, um, especially if you live outside of Japan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not saying this to be an asshole on purpose, but... Uh, <laughs> you could be an asshole. Everyone thinks you're an asshole anyway. Is, yeah. Did you hear our FN? <laughs> they all hate you. It's like Danny oh, Bivens. Yeah, they do. Every it's five fun. minutes, like, fucking Danny Bivens. I totally <laughs> get it. I'm a hated man. It's 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 perfectly. I, I, li fine. I live in Japan, and I still say that. So yeah. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Um, <laughs> I guess my point was, <laughs> you, know, you know, there's there's a lot of cool stuff out there, and I think it's cool you can actually have it all. But yeah, it's kind of janky how they have it. I mean, in this day and age, it's it's 2014, right? And you can't like. I mean, if you do these stuff. stupid things like have NES games on the 3DS. You know, then <laughs> that's pretty stupid, right? So if you're gonna do that, then make sure you get the console version, you know, at the same time, right? It just makes sense. You know, you gotta have everything on everything, yeah. Or you know, have it shared across both. You can't have this like hodgepodge bullshit thing that they've got going on. A little bit here, a little bit there. Nothing works across platforms. All this kind of stuff doesn't make sense. Just confusing as hell. Yeah. It's like Mario Brothers Three just came out in the States now, right? Like, right. oh, it's, it's due to come out next week or whatever. That's stupid. It's been out well, in Japan that's for ages. like the Game Boy Advance version or something, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good luck yeah, with that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, that's a topic for a different part of the show, right? Yeah. So. GBA talk later. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, um, have you been playing anything else, man? Um, I guess you just talked about what you're playing. <laughs> Not much. Just uh, iPad apps with my son, um, mm -hmm. mainly revolving around Dora the Explorer. But mm -hmm. uh, nothing I'd really want to talk about. <laughs> <on the phone. laughs> okay, understandable. <laughs> there was this uh, Prince of Persia game uh, that was free on the iPad. I played that for five minutes, and yeah, I got bored of it. So yeah, iPad, it's the future. <laughs> <laughs> Tablet games, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks better than a Wii U game, but you know, you don't play for more than three minutes before wanting to kill yourself. Yeah, God. The future. So yeah, that's me, I guess. <laughs> okay. That's quite a lot for me, you know, two yeah. games. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> Considering my gaming time is quite limited these days, but yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all due to end at the end of this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should be playing a lot more games. I should be picking up a Wii U and maybe a PS4 and, you know, getting into gaming big time at the end of this year. So looking forward to that. Yeah. It's yeah. be good to have you back on the team. The team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So what so, about you, Dan? Uh, yeah, I guess as for me, um, last month I mentioned it, you know, um, I was playing Assassin's Creed 4 and I think at the time I hadn't quite beaten it yet, but I'd already put in, you know, quite a few hours into the game, and um, I beat it a couple weeks ago, and I've been just kept, I, I loved it so much that I just kept on playing, 
um, even after the fact, just collecting a bunch of just little, like literally every little knickknack that's just spread throughout the world. Like I had to sail for probably like four hours just finding like treasure chests <laughs> and stuff like that. I don't know what it is about Assassin's Creed that I, I just like so much that sometimes I'll just like go way out of my way to complete things in the game and I don't know. I mean, you know, the 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 ship, uh, the controls for the ship and stuff like that are just really solid. It's just kind of fun to actually play, and you kind of feel like you are in control of like you know some kind of badass pirate ship, and you can keep can like it, can it jump. Hmm? Can it jump? Like a uh, wake up? Uh, no, I can't. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no hydraulics. Sorry. Six uh, out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, then, you know, the on-foot stuff's cool. And, you know, sometimes the story stuff, it's, you know, it's, it's all about some kind of crazy bullshit mixed in with this kind of historical setting. And uh, for me, I mean, you know, I studied history, you know, I was in college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I teach English. Great job, right? <laughs> but um, I, I don't know. I always, I always kind of like stuff that has some kind of a at least loose historical, uh, you know, base. It's just, it's really interesting to me. It's fascinating. So I, I like that type of stuff. And... I don't know. I, I know some stuff about like colonial America, so um, yeah. So I, f- for me, I, it's kind of just exciting just to, I don't know, kind of look into this stuff for me. But um, in Japan, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a shame that they're not going to do a Japan-based Assassin's Creed, right? The yeah. producer said like they're not going to do that. So what? Yeah, well, it, actually, it was interesting because in the game they have. Because uh, you go outside, you know, you're in this machine called the Animus, and uh, you're basically playing a game. You're yourself playing like this virtual reality simulator type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you know, this stuff. Game section. Yeah, in, in like the previous games, it was more like there's a, some kind of crazy story going on outside of it and stuff, and it, it is kind of like the weakest part of it. So they really, you know, pulled that back a lot, and yeah, there's still some kind of crazy stuff going on on the outside, but it doesn't really matter, but I think at one point, I had, like, hacked a computer, so I can, like, read the emails between, like, the producers nice. that are uh, talking about this gaming machine. What, in this what system do you play on in the game? It's called the Animus. Um, it's, oh, so it's the Animus version? Yeah, 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 yeah basically. So it's, this it's, game is on everything, you know, and probably the next version will be on Animus, but it won't be on Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. But um, yeah, actually, you know, in regards to the locations and stuff, that what they're going to choose. Well, actually, they did just kind of announce it uh, the other day. But um, before all the, before that happened, they they had started talking about a list of just different time periods and stuff like that of uh, what they thought about, and they just have like tons of just really kind of interesting areas of history where they're, you know, they wrote this stuff down, so they're probably thinking about it to some extent. Um, yeah. So it's just kind of interesting to hear that. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, they did say something about Japan, uh, but yeah, then the guy totally said, you know, no, nah, it's not going to happen. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they, they feel like they're stepping on toes of the Yakuza guys or something. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, they could probably do a lot better job, but may, maybe not like the some of the little <laughs> little things about it. Like, hey, I there's, can, like, a, there's a Yakuza game, game on PS4, right? That was a launch game. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a it's an old and it's an Edo period uh, yeah. one, right? Yeah, yeah, no. So I haven't tried it out. There's a free demo on PSN. I just haven't took the time to do it. But I saw somebody uploaded a, <laughs> a YouTube clip of the, a fight inside an onsen, which I <laughs> to like, and it's like the steam is like <laughs> carefully positioned around the uh, lower half of the men, so you can't <laughs> see their genitalia. It's quite. It's almost like. That. <laughs> It's almost like that bit in Austin Powers where it's like the fruit is covering his junk and it's like all everything's like perfectly positioned. It's kind of hilarious and it's like, yeah, yak is our realism. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, <laughs> hold on just one second. Looks like we have a question. Actually, Don had posted a question. I think I accidentally like deleted it or something. <laughs> no, I, I, was, I was like, okay, answer this. Doing it live, kids. Okay, so this is live, so if I accidentally you know, fuck something up, it's not intentional. I promise. Oh, here we go. Um, <clears throat> All right, Don, Nintendo Don, yes. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, Don, Don's commenting on the uh, Killer Yoshi behind me. So <laughs> that's, that's a yeah. treat for the for video viewers. Um, there you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have I think a killer... He's tamed. He's tamed. I have a killer wall behind me. Yeah, a TV too. But, um, 
Um, we have a question from Malaysia. So it's hello from Malaysia. Why do you think Japanese arcade games lack recognitions in the USA, uh, especially racing games like uh, Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune? <laughs> wow, uh, that sounds awesome. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with that game. Um, this is a, this is the time when we probably need some guy like Ty on, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, arcade games. Yeah, give him a call. Yeah. Um, um, Japanese arcade games. Well, there there are not that many Japanese arcade games that don't make it to the West, right? They usually make it onto some online service in some way or another, like shoot 'em ups, beat 'em ups. I mean, um, I don't know. I, I don't know about this one though. It's, it sounds like a racing game. Is it like? Um, that uh, what's that famous racing game? It's just come out on 3DS too. It's uh, the Daytona. <laughs> no, the street racing one. The where this kind of it's based in Japan. Oh man, it's gonna bug me not knowing that. The um the game, you know, the game of the sliding, the sliding along the mountains and the you know down the narrow streets. <laughs> rally. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> rally racing in Tokyo. On the dirt road. You suck, Danny. <laughs> well, I don't know shit, but... Yeah. yeah. Now, I don't know. You know, I guess it maybe just depends where people live in the U.S. especially. Because, I mean, I know where I'm from, you know, central mm -hmm. Illinois, uh, it's like the middle of nowhere. So we stopped having arcades in, like, 1998. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> it, yeah, it sucked, man. Like, I, I couldn't play any arcade games. I, I'd never, that's not, nothing I ever really got into. But, you know, as soon as I went to other cities, I'm like, oh, my God, it's an arcade. This is an exotic, rare treasure that I've never experienced, you know. <laughs> but, right. uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I think the Japanese stuff is a little bit too wacky or uh, maybe they just figure that it's not worth the money to even bring this stuff over because it's just a, you know, it's just a real waste. Um, yeah, I was right. It is a, it is a, uh, a racing game. It's based on a manga. <clears throat> okay. So there you go. But yeah, it looks, uh, looks very Japanese. It's kind of like racing on, um, like freeways, I guess. Hey, look at this okay. technical. Let's see. <laughs> okay. A screenshot on a on a webcam. That's bound to be great quality, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's a more technical way of doing that, but there you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're doing it live. We're doing it live. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Thank you for the question. Um, that, that's awesome. Uh, keep on coming. If you guys have anything, we'll try to not answer it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I guess the, the, a brief answer would be because it's way Japanese. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If the manga if the manga isn't popular in the states, then you know the game. Yeah, then too. Popular, right? Yeah, then too. It could just be licensing stuff too. I mean, if it's yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, if, uh, if uh, they don't have the rights for the manga, they don't have the rights for the game. You know, nobody's willing to pick up an unknown manga-based racing game in the in the West, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And okay, you know, another thing I just kind of want to throw out there too. This is just kind of random. I just thought about this, but you know, you know, I know this is kind of a random time to have a podcast. <laughs> like in, in the states, it's like I don't know what, like nine thirty in the morning, at Eastern time. But um, right. yeah, for those of you guys that are you know listening in and stuff, thank you very much. Um, and yeah, like this is just kind of an experiment, so we're gonna kind of just see where this goes from here. But um, anyway, uh, one other game that I wanted to talk about is something I just popped in today for the hell of it uh, that I bought, I don't know, two years ago. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> but um, you just found it under your bed. No, it's just been sitting in the same place for like two years, <laughs> in front of like my eyes, like the whole time. But um, as has my, you know, my uh, N64 disk drive. It's just been kind of sitting there dormant. Just I look at it every day, and I'm like, oh man, I'm so happy I have it, but I don't really want to play it. But oh yeah, um, when uh, Ty was doing the show with you, you talked about your 64 DD, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little image flashing up on the on my iPod there. That was cool. Yeah, but with give me a, a live preview. Yeah, I could. Uh, but actually, well, it's down there. Because you're connected to hundreds of wires. I don't know. Yeah, but um, I actually I have the game here. Um, this is uh, SimCity '64. Cool, it's Sim first. City 64. Awesome. <laughs> and it's backwards <clears throat> because the no, game. it's it's the right way around for me. Yeah. Okay. I'm Maybe for you. Oh, I see. You got your glasses back to front. Oh uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> um. Awesome. Anyways, yeah. So, games are awesome, aren't they? I love the I love those um tape. Slash cartridges, things, yeah. whatever they are. It's, like, it's basically like a zip disk. I mean, these things are yeah. 
freaking cool. And I, you know, I'm always so like worried about like this ca- these cases because if this gets cracked, there's no way I can replace this thing. <laughs> hey, can you show everyone inside? Yeah, yeah. So it looks like a CD-ROM case, doesn't it? Yeah, it basically looks kind of like a CD-ROM case. The oh, okay. So it clips yeah, in there. I see. I see. Sits in, inside of there. Um, and you know they have a pretty nice like fitting manual and crap that fits right nice. on top of this. So nice. no, it's just it's just really cool. I have like I don't know something like six or six disk drive games out of like eight or nine. Um, but anyways, you know I just wanted to. I was like, well, you know I bought this game. I should probably try to play this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, usually most people do with their games, isn't it? But um, yeah. Anyway, so you know I pop this in and you know it's it's. Sim City, because <laughs> yeah, I guess there's there's a cup there's another version of Sim City on the 64 that I have. It might just be Sim City 2000 maybe, but this is like you know a unique version. Hudson helped develop. No, I'm sorry, no Hudson. Uh, How How Laboratories helped develop this, um, in collaboration with Maxis and stuff like that back in the day. So it's kind of like it, visually, it looks a little bit different. It's like a lot more like kind of cartoony. Uh, than like regular SimCity stuff, but um, did, <clears throat> did you ever play the SNES version? I did. I'm not a huge fan of. I'm just not a huge fan of the original version of SimCity. I always like SimCity 2000 a lot. Okay. Um, but I mean, it's it it seems more like like kind of like a modified SimCity 2000, but like I said, just like especially made for the 64, obviously. Um, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's kind of weird, like you're moving around the camera with the C, with the C buttons, because, hey, well, actually, it makes sense, right? It's supposed to be the camera buttons. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, that kind of works out there, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 there's really not much to say about it. It's SimCity. Does it have Bowser in it? Does, can Bowser destroy the city? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't, uh, I didn't get to look in on, look into that, um, but let's just oh. pretend I did and say it actually happened. Um, Hashtag Bivens fail. <laughs> Story of my Hashtag. life, man. Story of my life. So, tune, yeah. in next, tune in next episode to find out if Danny does play it again. Yeah, well. Ever yeah. again. <laughs> Actually, is this really? I, I, then I had it and I put it on pause. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to finish fixing my dinner. And I just left it on for like an hour. And was playing like the most annoying <laughs> song. <laughs> and like one of my friends dropped by or something. He's like, dude, this song sucks. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do those, when the 64 DD tapes are in there, mm-hmm. do they make a whirring sound, like an accessing sound? Or is it just silent? I, I think you can maybe kind of hear it a little bit. But I mean, it's not, no, it's not like anything like that. I mean, it's, it's like a magnetic disc or something, so... Um, okay, so it's like a zip drive. They occasionally make yeah. a bit of a z- 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 sound. Exactly, but right, I mean, right. pretty much it's pretty quiet. And you know, I I think because I mean, I haven't really you know used it very often. But I think if you want to make sure you're playing your 64 DD game, I don't think you're supposed to have a cartridge in the top unless it's something that like you know um, you can actually play with it. But um, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, somebody on the the question thing said is. SimCity 3DS game like the SimCity that most people know. The 3DS game. We're not. We're not. We're not talking about the 3DS game right now, right? But oh no no no, you, no 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 no. Have you played the 3DS one, or do you know about I, that one? I do not. I'm sorry. Me neither. Oh, and Minoru answered my question. He's on Twitter actually. That's why I didn't see it till now. He says the racing game I was thinking of was Initial D. Thank you, Minoru. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You the man. That's exactly what I was thinking about. Initial D. There was a 3DS, like, free-to-play version, right? Yeah, I don't know if it's actually out or not. Because yeah, I was thinking the same exact thing. I was thinking, oh, what the hell is that called? It's like some kind of Sega thing. I mean, yeah. Initial D. I mean, come on. Alongside Bravely Default, that's the most non-descriptive game title ever. It's like Initial D. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, unless it means the initial... Initially, you put the car into D to drive? Sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows, man? Who knows? There's, there's probably some kind of etymology behind that or something. Wikipedia will tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> um, Initial D for the sequel. Yeah. <laughs> Rearmed. Yeah. Obviously. Awesome. Yeah. There you go. So, mm-hmm. that's what you've been playing? Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been playing. Um, 64 DD games. Awesome. 64 DD. I thought, hey, what the heck, be something kind of interesting <laughs> to talk about. Um, you, you don't have to have any game in the top of the N64 to play a DD game, right? No. This, I think you, maybe if you do, sometimes it could screw it up because it's like, oh, which game do you want to play? <laughs> so, 
But none of them ever interact. Like, isn't the F Zero one? Like, does that F Zero one interact with the DD game? It it's does. More. It does. But the thing is, here, here's the thing with that. I have the disc. It's back in America, and I have the cartridge. <laughs> I think it's here or something. You know, <laughs> I got that like way before I ever had like the disc drive actually too. So you know, it's just yeah, you know, one of those things. The only game that I've considered rebuying in Japan, you know, because um, I had the American version of F Zero GX. Oh, okay. And, when I arrived in Japan, I was like, oh, I've got to try out the arcade um, version of F-Zero, right, AX. And the, my memory card wasn't compatible. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hmm, should I rebuy it, rebuy the Japanese version just so I can do that? But, you know, it's kind of stupid because I would have to start from scratch, and it's like I didn't want to do that whole game again because it's hard as balls it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> God, I still... I, I bought it on launch day, and, like, I, I, you know, this is kind of bizarre. I won, like, a tournament for the game in my town because I was, like... GX? Yeah, because I was, like, oh, the only one competing. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, like, time trials. It wasn't, like, one a race. of one. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even, like, a race or anything, but, um, yeah. I, and um, at the same time, I'm going to keep trying to look at my phone and see stuff about on Twitter, so if I miss something initially, you know, hey... Initial D. <laughs> yeah, we're trying here. No, anything else. Um, on the topic of 64DD, hey, now you're talking my language. Um, <laughs> so here we go. This is from Addison Webb. Um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, on the topic of 64DD, what is the craziest Nintendo peripheral that us Westerners might not have, u might not have used that you have? I have something. Um, Here it oh comes. my Christ! Uh, oh my God! Where the hell is oh, you've, it? You've actually got it. <laughs> yeah, I have it it's here, hiding from me. Um, and this isn't really like too crazy, but it's something that never was released in the states. God damn it! Where is that thing? <laughs> oh man! Uh, um, so back in the early days of the GameCube, you know, the the memory cards, you know, they first released like very small sized ones, and then they eventually every couple of years or whatever they release different, you know, kind of larger ones and whatnot. And um, so at one point in Japan they had planned to, actually like before like, or maybe around the launch they kind of talked about this, that they're going to have like this SD card adapter memory card. And so the idea, you know, it's awesome. You can just get an SD card, which, for, you know, at the time were fairly expensive and very small, mm -hmm. but still like bigger than memory cards could hold and stuff, and it'd just, right, be, right. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd just be a really good thing, and then maybe, you know, theoretically speaking, you could back up your data on your computer, <laughs> you know, sure. share your stuff with your friends, and, but so it eventually did come out here in Japan, and I think, I'm sorry, I'll, I won't say in Japan, it eventually came out here, <laughs> and um, I think only, like, one game actually supported it, and just, like, back in December, I coincidentally just found this thing at some used shop for, like, I don't know, ten bucks, so I was like, Yes, I need this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy thing. And um, so, now, what's the official name of it? The... Uh, I think it's just the GameCube SD card mem or memory card SD card adapter or something. I think that's quite a sought after thing, isn't it? Because you can you can actually download saves from the internet now. I it's, don't think that this, like I said, it's. I'm pretty sure it's only compatible with like I don't know, like one game. But, the, but there are hack like that that unlocked. Um, you know, third parties did better versions of it. I think I even have that. Um, well, it's, not an, it's not an SD, but you can directly connect it to the computer, and you can download your saves directly to the computer from the memory card. It's like a USB plug-in to the front of the memory card. Mm -hmm. And uh, I backed up a lot of my saves that way, which was uh, mm -hmm. very useful. Yeah. Um, as for me, I don't can't really think. I mean, if you ever pay a visit to Super Potato, you can probably have a lot of you can touch and play around with lots of, you know, very valuable, valuable, rare things that you don't find in the West, right? I think there's one of the, the GameCube keyboard things that people always talk yeah. about. You know, you can play around with one of those. And, That's, uh, yeah, I've seen those before, yeah. and maybe like yeah. But, uh, there's, the, there's the GameCube controller. I, um, it's like a really small. It's I think it's a, a fit or it's a Hori product. Yeah. It's like a very small round. It's like it's about that big. It's like a GameCube pad. Oh, no, sorry, an N64 pad, and um, it's just really small, and it's like it's like got all the buttons on, it's got all the, it's got the stick and everything on it, but it's just compacted in a way that's... Um, oh, that thing sucks, small. man. That thing is awful. Yeah, but it's, it's, yeah. you're never going to see it outside of Japan, right? Yeah. 
you know, it's just a kind of an interesting uh, controller. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a. I mean, I, I could probably talk about this stuff for hours and hours. I think I have one other weird peripheral that was released for Famicast or Famicom. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the Fami Fami. <laughs> uh, released for the Famicom. It's some kind of like this card reader. It's almost kind of like e-card reader stuff, but it was specifically mm-hmm. made, I think, for a couple of games. I think it's like Data Tech is the name of the company that released it. And mm-hmm. I found one in a junk place somewhere, so it probably doesn't even work. But the idea is that you like scan, you plug this thing into, I believe, the top of your Famicom, and then you mm-hmm. could like scan these cards. It's like a battle oh, type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, literally just swipe it across the top of your Famicom. Yeah, right? and yeah, it comes with like you know a crap load of like little cards and stuff. And yeah, yeah, it, it, mine came with all the cards, the box, everything. I think the Styrofoam inserts, all that crap, man. Wow. It was, yeah, it's pretty incredible. Awesome. That was like I didn't even want it to even work. I just wanted this to you know actually just have this thing. Um, but anyway, okay. Well, thank you very much for that question. Like I said, we're gonna keep kind of uh, checking stuff. Uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you see me just like preoccupied with something, it's probably because <laughs> I am preoccupied with something. Uh, yeah. But so I guess yeah, that's gonna go ahead and do it for new business. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of move on into the news. Uh, there's really not a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk about. I just kind of wanted to keep this a little bit light. Um, mm-hmm. Last month, and James, I don't know if you, the, the little first bit there. Um, um, Yokai Watch. Yeah, so, you know, Yokai Watch, it's a pretty popular thing here in Japan now, and uh, I've been seeing it a lot, like, lately on the uh, the charts and stuff like that uh, here in this country that I won't say the name of. <laughs> um, <laughs> here in... So, <clears throat> Yeah, and yeah. I, I noticed I noticed the trend. It started up like around uh, the holidays and stuff, and so I, I kind of did a little bit more digging, and also just from talk. You know, I'm a school teacher, so I talked to a lot of kids and stuff. And just recently, they all been talking about Yokai Watch, and like, oh, so you have the game? They're like, oh no, dude, I'm I'm watching the anime, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I've had the so, same experience. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, I even because yeah. It was just like um, when was this game? When did this game come out? It's quite a while game, back now. Right? The game came out in July of just last year, and I think before that they had some kind of deals with uh, a couple of the different um, magazine companies and stuff here. So they were, excuse me, releasing uh, some different manga and stuff. But I mean, it didn't really start to get more that really popular until like this holiday mm-hmm. season, I guess. And um, yeah, the, the anime started up like January eighth or something like that. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it's crazy, man. Cause, like, all the kids know, like, all these little characters. And, like, I was at this kindergarten, and these kids are like, let's play Yokai Watch and Hide and Seek. I was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you know, I've totally even forgotten the premise of this game. I mean, I, I, I think I was on the, the podcast when we started talking about this game, right? It was quite a while back. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, we just kind of, like, brushed to the side. It was just, like, another one of those crazy yeah. only in Japan 3DS games, you know, and then we never talked about it ever again. But... I guess yeah. kind of like Pokemon. It started off, <clears throat> started off like really small, and then just you know the anime. I don't know. Maybe there's trading cards as well. I don't know. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't think they're according to Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't think they are. Yeah. Trading cards. Um, yeah, I street pass people playing this game all the time. It's like, mm-hmm. uh, and people are talking about it constantly. Yeah. So yeah, what, what is the premise for this game? Yeah. So I mean, yokai. That's like the word. It can mean like ghost or ghoul or you know something like that, specter or whatever you want to say. And the yeah. watch. So like essentially at the beginning of the game, like sorry, spoilers. This happens like the first thirty <laughs> seconds. Uh, this kid finds like this gotcha machine, you know, with the little what? Oh my god, those things with the you pull the toys out of the little cap capsule, capsule machine. Like, capsule yeah. like yeah. Mm-hmm. They're capsule machines and um. Gotcha pong. Basically, this thing is like it's by like some kind of shady area. It just looks like decrepit as hell. And he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna like you know buy a toy here because that's <laughs> okay." And then like I don't know, some like ghost comes out of it and stuff. And then so it's a haunted capsule machine. Kind of. And then uh, that's the, the, the most go- Japanese thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I think from that point, like the ghost is like, "Oh, hey, there's ghosts like all over the place, man. Here's this special watch that you can use so you can like see all these ghosts." So. Yeah, so basically then you're kind of going around and these ghosts are interacting with people and um, stuff like that. So is, um, it, is it a subtle and clever double meaning, like watch as in looking and watch as in a physical thing you put on your wrist? Uh, that might just be a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, it just could be a coincidence, but that, that does make sense, I guess. Um, 
<laughs> I'm sure it's a coincidence. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that kind of double meaning is uh, put into Japanese game titles. Um, <laughs> so this is, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy, right? So have you yeah. seen the anime at all? Actually, I haven't, and I, I think it comes on, like, Wednesday nights at, like, 7, because I, I have a private lesson with this boy. He he loves the show now, too, and mm -hmm. his mom was like, oh, he's going to start watching Yokai Watch 7. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> what time is it on? Let me just write this down. Uh, seven. <laughs> 7. Weekdays at 7. Weekdays at Wednesdays at 7. Wednesdays at 7, okay. Um, what channel? Some channel. Some, some channel. channel. Okay, I'll, I'll take a <laughs> I think it's... Yeah. <laughs> Are you really writing it down? I, could, I can't see. I can see myself talking, and then I... Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, what was I going to say? So, yeah, what's the age range? Is it is it like elementary school, like fifth, sixth graders, that kind of thing? Yeah, that's what it seems Young, like to me. Younger, I, yeah, I, I haven't really heard too many like junior high kids talking about this type of stuff. But yeah, for elementary elementary school kids, it's just extremely popular. Like they're just <laughs> gobbling this stuff up. And you know, gameplay of this stuff. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like Pokemon, but you're you're doing a lot more like searching around for stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, sometimes you could like interact with people who are like essentially like possessed by these ghosts that are just totally screwing them up. <laughs> so it's kind of like dark and kind of weird, I guess, in that sense. Um, but yeah, it's just interesting. Uh, there's a lot of kind of little interesting things like that. So it seems like a little bit deeper than Pokemon Battle System. Um, I we talked about this before. There's like this little wheel type of thing. We have like you can have up to like six monsters and. Like the part of it's like on the bottom of the screen, and you have three at a time fighting, and mm -hmm. you can just at the bottom of it, you can just use a touch screen, and it like okay. cycles them around, and you could fight like that. Um, like a rotary like, phone. <laughs> yeah. With ghosts. <laughs> you kids know anything about that these days? <laughs> Probably not. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm, it's turn based and stuff too. But uh, anyway. Um, yeah, and it, you know, I guess the whole point about the, just talking about this again too. I think I mean we probably talked about this as well, but this is uh, the licensing or something. Well, my God, you take a look at my notes. <laughs> Le Level five has trademarked it in the U.S. There it is. Level so, five trademarked in the U.S. Yeah, I don't. I mean, the genius with Pokemon is that the name didn't really need to be translated, so yeah. I don't. I can't. Mm, they would have to probably change the name like Yokai. No, they they, Maybe they trademarked yeah. Yokai and they put like Yo Kai no. Watch. <laughs> like with the Yeah, there are a, there are a couple of untranslated anime type things, aren't they, in, in the States? Um, yeah, or what? There's just, a, there's a just thing. Up, oh my yeah. god, what was it? I think it was on RFN or some somewhere they're talking about Oh my God! <laughs> I mean, this is getting getting Digimon? real descriptive. No, well, this is getting real descriptive. This is about a game. It's called the thing, and it's in Japanese. Oh, okay, yeah, it's the guy job. with the uh, the spiky hair. You know? <laughs> You're catching the thing. You know? Yeah, the thing. The guy with the face. The guy where the thing comes out, and then the you know. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know. So, I know some people are maybe kind of uh, not happy <laughs> whenever things don't get translated basically at all the names and stuff like that but I don't know sometimes it maybe just sounds better than hey go well, I don't know Ghost Watch could be cool I, I don't know Ghost Watch I'm <laughs> sure that's being trademarked I'm sure that's something else probably Ghost Watch is too <laughs> it's too <laughs> simple it's too gem generic <laughs> <laughs> yeah so maybe they'll, they'll uh, go with the Yokai Watch then um, so uh, I can't wait for you to read out the next thing uh, this one is actually for... This is, well, this is from Minoru, I guess. Yeah, this is for Minoru. He's probably going to be happy with this. So, you know, a new yeah. style, savvy games uh, coming out here on the 3DS. And, uh, okay. Say the, say the title, say the title. Yeah, Wagamama Fashion, Girls Mode, Yokubari Sengen Tokimeki Up. Uh, you didn't yeah. say that right. You, you've got to put more emphasis on the last three words because they've all got exclamation marks. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, um, so when when can we all pick this up, Danny? Yeah, Jeff? so you only have to wait a couple of weeks. Coming out on April seventeenth. Uh, it's a pretty uh, fair price, four thousand five hundred seventy-one yen. So okay. uh, get your yenies ready and uh, get yeah. ready to be buying some stuff. Um, oh, actually, I okay. Um, our buddy who talked about uh, the arcade stuff, he, yeah, this mm -hmm. game that I was talking about, the one I was trying to think of the name of, um, oh my god, it's uh, uh, Danganronpa. Danganronpa. <laughs> like, I guess, so, yeah, it just totally wasn't translated at all when it came out and stuff. And yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, exactly. 
But let's actually, he has, he has a bit of a question with this too. Uh, also with, good God. <laughs> Look through all with this. more Japanese games being adapted into anime, like Danganronpa and Persona series being English dubbed, any kind of games that you would, that you see, that you would like to see being dubbed? Well, I think Attack on Titan is in the process of being dubbed. Um, I had a link, I f I found a link to that, um, but I couldn't actually listen to the clip because it was, it was <laughs> ironically, it was not available to be viewed in Japan. Because <laughs> it was like, an, it was an American distributor, so they blocked, you know, any viewing outside of America. So it was like a Japanese anime, but because it was in English and it was, you know, owned by an American company, I couldn't watch it. That was mm -hmm. kind of ironic, but there you go. I kind of wanted to... S I, I haven't seen any of... Uh, well, I've only seen clips of uh, Attack on Titan. And Danny, I know you like it. And, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's awesome. Johnny and RFN liked it, too. Yeah. Um, but I was kind of just interested to hear the dubbing, because apparently it's quite good. Oh, really? Uh, if I, yeah. Well, or, um, uh, sorry, I'm kind of losing my train of thought. I was looking between <laughs> a bunch of different things here. but um, It was on Netflix already, in Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And even, like, it was pretty incredible, because mm -hmm. on iTunes, with Attack on Titan, like, mm -hmm. it was coming out within, like, a week or two, usually of like the uh, release in Japan, and I—I I mean, oh. I, don't know, it, I don't think it was like that originally. I think it's maybe they just realized how popular it was in Funimation, the, the company who's like has the rights to it, I guess. And um, yeah, they, that's, they're the guys that are doing the dubbing, right? Yeah, yeah. Funimation. I mean, I don't know how much you know about anime in America, James, <laughs> but uh, they, well, they were. Let me just. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, they're they're a pretty big deal, pretty <laughs> instrumental, bringing a lot of stuff over into the states um, okay. back in the day. But um, anyways, yeah, I was really surprised because I think, you know, I, I was obviously watching, you know, all of this on TV because I have a subscription to a satellite TV and stuff. I would never dream of downloading these things from the Internet or anything, you know. <laughs> but uh, anyways, no, so I was kind of surprised that the stuff was all there. And it was, you know, pretty cheap, like two bucks an episode, buck an episode or something. So, but, cool. anyway. Um, yeah, oh, um, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the internet, people. <laughs> Get down your throat. Oh, that's fine. That's so he's totally talking fine. anime. So mm -hmm. it has to be from anime to. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't watch anime. It's kind of it's kind of oh. funny thing to say, but yeah, I live in Japan. I don't watch anime. But there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. If you guys have questions, just you know, keep this stuff coming. Uh, keep calling me out on, you know, inconsistencies. Yeah. The things it's, awesome. Just... <laughs> yeah. it's awesome to be able to be, uh, you know, have the answer at your fingertips like that. Yeah, yeah. Being called out as being a douchebag <laughs> immediately and by several people. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's totally fine. I'm used to it every day. You know, my mother, my everybody I know and claim to love or something. Anyway. There you um, go. So what's next on the yeah. channel? So uh, I guess a little bit more news. There's actually uh, here, there's some eShop sales going on. Uh, one that just started, it's going all the way until April 8th, I believe. Uh, Square Enix actually has a sale on uh, Dragon Quest Seven and also Bravely Default for the sequel. Uh, aptly named. <laughs> aptly named. Yes. Non-sequel. Is, is it the sequel? No, it's for the sequel. I... I can't you can I explained to like so many people that I'm like yeah I'm playing Bravely Default for the sequel and they're like oh they already released the second one no 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 it's the remake wait <laughs> but you said it's a sequel <laughs> yeah that's I mean people in the West right people in Japan that don't even know the word sequel like <laughs> I mean I've I've had students where like they're movie buffs and I'm like oh you like Back to the Future what, did did you like the sequel and they go what <laughs> like. What's a sequel? And that you have to explain. Oh, it's you know, it's the second part of the series. And, and then you just start talking about prequels and <laughs> uh, prequels, and then it's like boom, and Dooku, and... Dooku, because George Lucas is like it's poison. It's Japanese for poison. So <laughs> Japanese word Dooku. It's it's Dooku poison. <laughs> Maybe it's not what that pronunciation. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you like Star Wars? <laughs> I do. I do. Um, uh, anyway, anyway, so yeah, it's actually it's a really good sale if you can read Japanese and you have access to a Japanese 3DS. Uh, Dragon Quest VII is fifty percent off, so it's basically right at about thirty bucks, and uh, Bravely Default's thirty percent off, so it's right at like twenty five, uh, two thousand five hundred. Well, 
Well, Guillaume is definitely going to hit you now because didn't didn't he just mention that in the last episode of Iron Man? Oh, I just I just started listening to it today, so I, I haven't got a chance. Not not only is it out, it's 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 fifty percent off on the eShop. <laughs> it's like, come on, oh, yeah, it's, it's just rub salt sure. in the guy's wounds here. Come yeah, on, that's what I'm trying but, to do. No, it's, uh, maybe it's Johnny actually. Johnny's the Dragon Quest guy, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> rub salt in somebody's wounds. So sorry, guys. And Johnny, here's the ironic thing: I will not be buying it, even though it's fifty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> I got no time for the RPGs. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, I talked about I, it. Before. I could give it to him. <laughs> oh, Daddy, wait, where, where, press the sound oh, where, are the, where are the sound effects? Oh, where are the sound God. effects? Come on, you should be. This should be sound boy. Should be there. Boom. I'm hoping my computer doesn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it! I don't know where they went. We'll, um, fix it. we'll fix it in place. Okay, whatever. Uh, I could spend like an eternity <laughs> looking for this stuff and just be completely silent, so whatever. I don't have it on um, my side. It seems to have disappeared. I don't Yeah, I don't see it either. No, but what we're talking about, like James and I were kind of <laughs> screwing around with this stuff earlier. And you just do like just stupid things, like put this fake beard on your face. And obviously listening to the audio podcast, you have no idea. Evolve. Yeah. Okay, you have an imagination, and you could hopefully understand the words I'm saying, the words coming out of my mouth. <laughs> but yes. yeah, you can just do a bunch of like silly things. You know, it's basically kind of like think about like the Wii U chat stuff, and you can do that with like Google Hangouts. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, but I guess I guess it's disabled on the the on air thing. Never yeah, might be. That's that's a pity. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Um. Blah 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 blah. So the last thing I kind of wanted to talk about with James is, you know, obviously Game Boy Advance stuff's coming out here in Japan and around the world basically next week. And, Mm -hmm. you know, it's coming out on the Wii U, obviously, right? (laughs) Uh, As it should. As it should. (laughs) Coming out on the what? Yeah, the Wii U. (laughs) Um, Yeah, and uh, actually here they're going to have a bit of a sale. It's like you buy buy one, you get 30% off of another. And actually they, I don't know, I saw... A couple of days ago, I saw on like this Japanese news site. They said, "Yeah, the game is 650 yen, you know, six dollars fifty cents, you know, with before this discount." And then like Nintendo site, it's like there's this like tax sales tax increase coming to oh, Japan. So yeah, next week. Everything's right? yeah, everything's kind of increasing, and it's kind of weird because a lot of like virtual console stuff used to be priced just completely even, but like now like Game Boy or Game Boy Advance game 702 yen. It's like that's, yeah, that's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> yeah, so that yeah, it's kind of annoying, but um. Yeah, that's so before here, the discount, right? That's that's before the discount. Yeah. Thirty so percent okay. of seventy. You know, <laughs> basically, it's going to be a dollar. No. <laughs> no. Um. So the games are going to be coming out here: F Zero, Maximum Velocity, Golden Sun, uh, Game Boy Wars Advance One and Two, which is like a special pack of Advance Wars One and Two. Stupidest um, name ever. <laughs> yeah, they were. Game Boy Wars Advance on the Game Boy Advance. I could two. have just. Oh God, I might have just like. <laughs> no, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. They did. Okay. Uh, they did call them that. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Um, yeah, they, they called it Famicom Wars, even though it was on the GameCube as well, right? Oh, yeah. Something yeah, stupid like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of like a weird thing because it's like this. It, I guess those two games individually didn't come out in Japan, and this this double pack came out in 2004. Um, but then yeah, on top of that, that yeah. yeah. But then on top of that, too, Super Mario Advance 2, Super Mario World. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a good one. It's and then, one, uh, yeah. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, and then WarioWare, they're all going to be coming out here for that price. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of us out, out here are excited for uh, Game Boy Advance stuff. And I, I know for me, like, I well, basically, Pokemon kind of rekindled my interest in, uh, you know, handheld gaming more or less. But, you know, Game Boy Advance stuff just kind of made me. Just realize like how advanced, hey. <laughs> pardon pardon the pun, but how how this kind of more advanced like handheld gaming could be at the time when everything was just pretty simple. Um, so I don't know. I, I had a really good time with Game Boy Advance. I mean, I bought the thing at launch, and you know, I, I was a poor kid, but I still like could afford it and stuff. But um, I don't know, James. Like, how about you, man? Were you like big with? Well, I mean, I guess you kind of were big with handheld gaming before that, even. Yeah, though. yeah. I got a Game Boy Advance around launch. I don't think I got it at launch, but um. I actually got into it. Uh, I, the thing that pushed me over the edge to buy it was that my friend had one. Uh, he import, he imported his from Japan, and uh, he had uh, Mario Kart Advance, mm-hmm. as it was called in Japan. And and you could link up games, and you could 
it, it was like the first iteration of the game sharing, you know, that we have now on the DS, 3DS. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can play multiplayer games even if the guy doesn't have the game. Mm -hmm. Like multi-card, right? Uh, yeah, single right, card, so single card single, multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mario Kart Advance had that, and it, it could store like a tiny amount of data on a on a Game Boy Advance without any game in the socket. So, um, and we were all playing like you know four-player uh, four Mario Kart, you know, and only he had the game because he'd imported it from Japan. It came, I think, it came out quite a bit before in Japan, and um, and it was just awesome. You, you could only play as Yoshi. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. But it was, it was it, all the other features were there, and it was pretty, it was pretty awesome. And I was like, I got to get this game. Uh, I got to get better at this guy and beat him. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I got a, I got my own system uh, a few weeks after that, and yeah, Mario Kart Advance is awesome. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I didn't have that many games for the Game Boy Advance actually. I mean, like, because there were a lot of SNES ports, right? Super Famicom ports, and it right, was like, right. Um, you know, and I kind of liked the Super Famicom originals better. Mm -hmm. So, like with Mario World, I did, I bought Mario World quite quite recently actually when I was in Japan. You know, years after the game came out, just because I wanted a portable version of Mario World, mm -hmm. and um, I was really disappointed by it because the music was so poor compared mm -hmm. to the original. Because like a big part of Mario World is the music and like right. and just like the the rhythm. Just like just the basic thing, like the rhythm of the, the music was just off. It was just like like the, the caves music and the forest music, it's just so ingrained in my brain and just to hear it kind of like slightly off key and slightly out of uh, just something slightly wrong about it, it just really kind of uh, I just immediately turned the sound off for that game because it's just were you, were you like, playing like, like were you playing with headphones or like or what? Oh no, it's nothing to do with that. It's it's okay. just straight up. <laughs> This, the song is wrong. <laughs> it's okay, just I, wrong. Yeah. I, I bought it like when it first came out, and I don't know. I just didn't even notice. It. Maybe it's because I couldn't hear it or something. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah, I'm sure there's a, a YouTube video comparing them. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, probably. But yeah, I guess this because the the SNES sound chip was amazing. I mean, oh. and, the, and the Game Boy Advance does not have that sound chip. You know, right? Uh, I mean, the SNES had a better sound chip than the N64 for Christ's sake. <laughs> so, yeah. but didn't like Sony make it or something? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, just yeah, and just all the the effect the the fans just couldn't handle those um, musical effects that the SNES could do. So, right, but, yeah, the, the graphically it was yeah it was it was spot on, and they even they changed a few things which made it a lot more playable. Like you could you could um, like something the, with Yoshi, you could like change the color of Yoshi a lot easier, and you could like and fly over the levels, you know, by, by just getting a blue Yoshi immediately and mm -hmm. all sorts of crazy things like that. Made it a lot easier to, to play and you could save, maybe you could save anywhere or something like that or whatever, but none of that mattered because the, the music wasn't as good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but um, yeah, it was a good system and uh, the multiplayer element of like Mario Kart was awesome. Um, mm -hmm. Golden Sun was is one of one of two RPGs that I've ever completed to the very end. I'm not an RPG guy, but you know I liked Golden Sun. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Advance Wars was awesome. That that got yeah. yeah I never thought I could like uh, like a real time is it not is it a real time strategy game? Uh, uh, sure, a strategy game anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. But I can't really think of much else that I really liked. Yeah, you know, like you, like I think basically you said. I mean, I I kind of like just uh, yeah, I I kind of like just having these kind of bastardized Super Nintendo games that I can take with me <laughs> any anywhere I go, and that was great. And I, I sometimes I just don't understand why you know they just don't simply release like Super Nintendo games on 3DS Virtual Console. It's there you just go. kind of like. Insulting, uh, like oh, we can't do it. May have, maybe it's there is some kind of technical limitation. I have no idea. I kind of find that hard to believe, but I mean, especially uh, considering that, I, I, God, I don't know. There's like this collection game that was released on the system or something. I don't know. I, it, I don't know. It just kind of baffles my mind that they don't do this stuff. Well, yeah, it's kind of fortuitous that I'm on a podcast this week because there's a kind of been a Twitter battle being going on this week about the GBA games mm -hmm. coming on Wii U. Mm -hmm. I mean, first of all, why the hell are they on the Wii U? <laughs> That's the stupidest thing ever. And, you know, DS <laughs> games are coming soon as well. I mean, Japan has a DS game, right, on the 3DS? Uh, there'd be uh, other couple. The, uh, the Club Nintendo game, right? 
Yeah, well, two of them. Yeah, the, the, there's an Advance Wars one, and there's a weird Nintendo G, like this Nintendo. Some I don't remember who developed it, uh, but right. yeah, it's weird. Car game. It's <clears throat> stupid. As far as selling them, you know, we're nowhere near getting to that point where they're selling DS and GBA games on the 3DS eShop, which would make the most sense because the 3DS is a DS. <laughs> and, and the 3DS has GBA games as part of the ambassador program. So I guess on Twitter, there's kind of 50-50 split. Like half of the people are defending Nintendo, saying, you know, it's not really possible to get these games running on the 3DS with a proper, pure emulation mm-hmm. because, um, you know, it requires the you know, special chip and, you know, you can't do standby in the sleep mode, you know, while it's in the the DS mode, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other half, which the side that I own, is like, seriously, Nintendo, are you fucking kidding me? That's the side <laughs> that I'm on. <laughs> it's like, get your fucking finger out, mm-hmm. get some programmers who design the fucking system. Like, you know, can, I mean, it's like all the people who worked on the GBA, are they now dead? Maybe. Do they not, do they not know anybody who worked on the GBA? It's like, you know, it's like, talking from the position of a guy who's like who's never seen a GBA before. It's like Nintendo made the system. I'm sure they have machine code level diagrams of how the <laughs> systems work somewhere. <laughs> well, at least well, I hope they have. You know there'd be a physical version because it's yeah. Japan. <laughs> yeah, if we print it out. In yeah. Huge let me fact, yeah, let me fax you this, this line of code that you can type into your computer later. Oh, by the way, it's 50,000 pages long. <laughs> So, you know, we've had GBA, this GBA emulation on everything. I mean, it's even been emulated on the, the original DS. Mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't perfect, but, you know, some guy in a string vest in his mother's basement <laughs> has got GBA games running on the DS. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the technical guys, the programmers of Nintendo, can work this shit out. And it's just like... It kind of annoys me how quickly people just throw up their hands and say, no, you give Nintendo a break. You know, it's, it's probably really hard. Oh, it's really hard. Oh, yeah, okay. And, and that, if it's really hard, just, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I don't care. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. stupid. It's just stupid. It really annoys the hell out of me. And, you know, it's the same thing with the, the Wii U, right? Like, why aren't Wii games on the eShop, you know? Yeah, it, some of the stuff just baffles there's, there's a Wii built into the Wii U. It's like the chip is on the system, you know? And there's the same thing with 3DS. There's a DS and a GBA chip somewhere in there, right? Well, sure. <laughs> however, however they play DS games on the 3DS, there must be some way of tunneling that and you know enabling that. But yeah, uh, there you go. Rand finished. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, my drink. friends. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was something stronger in this. I'm it's all out of my game. yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm all out of my my drink here. Sorry, no alcohol today, so you don't get to see Danny go a little bit crazy like I was in the last episode. Well, he didn't even get to see me. He just got to hear me say in Japan a lot and probably cuss a lot too. <laughs> but um, cussing in Japan, That's pretty it. much. There's like no filter. You just don't even care. It's his go. <laughs> but um, I noticed that we had another uh, comment or question. Uh, and here from Muhammad, and uh, now we already have wrestling games like WWE and hold on, now we already have wrestling games like what WWE and TNA did. However, I don't know if there's a New Japan Pro Wrestling or Wrestling One video game. Uh, any clarification? Um, I don't know. I haven't really seen too many wrestling games here at all. <laughs> Basically, um, aside from stuff, uh, and also I actually Don made a comment on Twitter about some of the GBA stuff. On 3ds, we can talk about that in a couple minutes. Um, oh, but yeah, for wrestling, we know what side Don's on. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I, you know, back in the day, uh, in the N64 days, when all those like awesome, you know, uh, THQ, uh, you know, wrestling games are coming out in the states and whatnot, and you know that that stuff was also coming out here in Japan. Sometimes it was coming out somehow, I guess, licensed with WCW and WWF at the time, and. Um, yeah, I mean, I have basically every one of those games that came out on the N64. Um, I think almost all the Japanese versions that came out, I have. And, um, you know, a lot of them are just cookie-cutter, exactly the same as what you get in the West. But there were, uh, you know, Virtual Pro Wrestling, which is, you know, that was really cool. I know a lot of you guys probably heard about that stuff. And 
I mean, it's essentially the same game, just kind of like Japanese rosters of uh, wrestlers and stuff. So it, it's, you know, it's still like the same fun gameplay and stuff, but it's like, eh, I don't know any of these characters. I don't know any of this, like, theme music. So it's not, for me, I mean, it's cool just to have, like, another, I guess, game like that to experience, but it wasn't as fun because I was like, oh, I don't know any of these guys. <laughs> so... Um, Anyway, yeah, but for, I guess, new stuff, I have not seen any new wrestling games on the shelves, particularly for, like, Nintendo consoles here lately. You know, I, I keep a pretty close eye on, like, release stuff. Uh, so, Is yeah. the WWE popular in Japan? I have no idea. I don't <laughs> think so. they got a uh, Japanese guy in there, probably, right? Probably, sure. Probably Actually, just, like, a sumo yeah, wrestler? Yeah, like, no, seriously, you know, James, you don't know this, and maybe some of you re- wrestling fans out there might know this as well, but <laughs> it's so great in the early 90s. I mean, even though 90s and 80s, it just had, like, these really char- characterized, like, people. <laughs> <that> were, like, <laughs> kind of, it was like, yeah, this guy's supposed to be, like, from Russia, so he's a big burly, and they make him, like, a bad guy, and he's just had a Soviet flag waving all over the place or something, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's just, well, you know... Nintendo was no better, right? The, yeah, it's uh, basically... Punch out games, think, right? Think punch out. Soda like, Popinski. Yeah, exactly. That is like exactly how pro wrestling was at the time. And there was this wrestler. His name was Yokozuna, and he <laughs> he wasn't even from Japan. They even like said from Polynesia, but he dressed like a small <laughs> wrestler. But he had like tights on instead of just so you don't see like his bare ass crack or whatever. <laughs> and like his manager or this guy, his name is Mister Mister Fuji. <laughs> they have like this, you and know, his this, girlfriend Miss Sushi. <laughs> They'd have, like, you know, the, the stuff that, like, there's, like, this salt that they throw in, like, in sumo <laughs> matches and stuff. And so yeah. that old man would just get it and just throw it in people's faces and stuff. And it is just silly, but... Blinding yeah. children, yeah. Yeah, yeah. or re- usually wrestlers, but sometimes <laughs> children. Um, but, yeah, no, I, yeah, recently I haven't really seen any anything. So I, I yeah, so I guess there's no clarification. Wrestling doesn't exist go. anymore in Japan. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> so... Did you get what Don had said, James? Um, no, I'm blocking it out. I'm not reading it. He's just uh, making excuses. <laughs> He's just saying, no GBA chip in the 3DS. Yeah, okay, I get that, but still, no excuses. <laughs> and also that they've got a bit of a washed-out color, which is true. Yeah, they didn't look that good on the Ambassador thing, did they? Some of them were a bit dark. <laughs> I was just checking out Nintendo's website today and looking at some of the screenshots. I was like, God, that looks, yeah, dark or not as vibrant. It's authentic, as it authentic emulation. They put the, the, the shite filter across. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For those of you who can't understand what he just said, he means shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are there subtitles on this Google thing? Um, I, I can, like, afterwards I can add in, like, subtitles and stuff. So we need it for everything you say or everything I say. Uh, that's fine. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay then. So, are we are we done here? Are we we talked yeah. about everything, right? Yeah, that that pretty much does it. Like I said, we didn't have a whole lot of stuff planned for today, but um, yeah, we didn't really know how this was gonna work out. <laughs> yeah. But actually, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with how this worked out, and you know, thanks to everyone for uh, thanks for all you millions of you uh, viewers out there who uh, yeah. participated with us. No, it was great. It's awesome. And um, hopefully we'll do this again in the future. I, you know, I can't speak for any other podcast or anything like that, but I think you know this is kind of a good learning experience. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. It'd be interesting to see how it how it handles. You know, two, three, four people. Yeah. Same thing. I don't know. Yeah, how two well people. Go. Two people is just fine. I mean, video quality is not like that great. Yeah. You can still make out who we are that we're like male human beings. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, I am. I, I can come to well, myself. Yeah, yeah sure. Fine. I'm an orangutan, but anyways, um, yeah. One last thing I wanted to talk about, and actually, James had uh, mm-hmm. kind of talked to me about this, and I think it's just, this is awesome. Um, so back a few months ago, James had created an account, especially on Twitter, for uh, the Famicast. It's called Is it just the Famicrew? Uh, oh, the Twitter account? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me check that for you, Danny. It's, <laughs> it's actually at Famicast. Very simple, at Famicast. Okay, at Famicast. I thought it was okay. Some some douchebag stole at the Famicast. So, okay. <laughs> so that's not us. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. it, there's, a, there's, a, there's another podcast called the Famicast, which has nothing to do with us, and it was created a couple of years after we started it, but there you go. <laughs> Yeah. So we're um, at Famicast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, I know that you know we've 
given out like our individual uh, Twitter names and stuff like that. And I think that you know it's fine. And you know I, we've I've got a lot more people like following, and I talk to a lot of people, and that's great. But um, maybe it's kind of hard for people to like okay. His name is, you know, Z eight one two three X hyphen two at, you know, whatever, you know, stuff like that. So I understand sometimes it's not so easy to kind of like, oh, okay, what's this asshole's name? So just kind of like make it simple. What we do is th- we'll just, you know, if you guys ever say anything kind of interesting about the show or whatever, you want to tweet at it or whatever, we'll just kind of like do uh, retweets of your stuff. Um, I don't try to have some kind of news about the show on there and stuff. Uh, and then if you like go to like the actual like the profile, you can see all of our Twitter. Uh, names to should be everybody that's ever been on the show. Um, yeah. That's right. So. so it's a lot. It's a lot easier just to say one Twitter at the end, and then uh, you can you can check out everybody there. Yeah, yeah. So Dan, Danny promises to retweet anyone who mentions at Famicast, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even, even if it's at Famicast yeah. sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Please I'm stop asking. doing at Famicast. <laughs> I'll be waiting for that. I'll be waiting. <laughs> well, most of those will be from me, but yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I understand. <laughs> it's perfectly fair and reasonable. Thank you. There um, you go. Cool. Well, I think that's going to go ahead and do it. We won't drag this out any longer. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, James, thanks so, so much for coming on, man. No problem, man. Thanks for uh, having me, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know when the next time James is going to be on, but um, you know, it might be a little while. So mm-hmm. I hope you enjoyed this. I, it, oh, man, everyone else is like really busy this month, and I, you know, it's getting kind of late in the month, and I wanted to make sure we get this thing out there as, as fast as possible. But okay, I'll shut up now. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of your evenings, days, whatever it is where you're at, and um, yeah, we will catch you again later. Family dudes out. Out later. So.